at this little table for a while. It is in a good condition, but it doesn't match our house decor anymore, and I decided to give it a facelift. As a first coat, I used a French linen chalk paint. And for the second coat, I am covering it again with a French linen, but I am dabbing the paint, stippling it in, creating a texture. You will see later why I want to create a texture. Stay tuned! For my next layer, I made a mixture of Svenska Blue and water, one to one. I am taking as much paint off the brush as I can and slightly brushing the surface of the table. The chalk paint I use for this project is by Anslong. Then I am mixing a country grey chalk paint with water the same way and applying it the same way. Mixing the paint with water makes it less intense. You can see that the texture I created at the beginning helps the paint to catch. I am extremely light-handed here, just touching the surface, and I am very careful to not let too much paint on the brush. I let the table dry overnight and I am applying a clear wax. I use a clear wax only to protect my chalk paint from reactivating, as I am going to work more on the surface. Keep watching. I am using a brown wax to dry brush the surface. What I am trying to achieve here is to give a piece an aged look. I am using a cheap brush and very little wax. I am slightly dry brushing the surface, concentrating on the corners, creating more shades, high and low points. Just to remind you that before each layer I am letting the piece completely dry. stand out, I am applying a black wax with a little makeup brush and wiping off the excesses of the wax with the baby wipers.
top of the table, I have painted the same way as the rest of it. For the stencil, I am using the same colors, Svenska Blue and Country Grey, but not mixing them with water. And I am applying the colors randomly, mixing them, creating the shades. finishing touches with a clear wax. And to give the piece a bit of a glamour, I am applying a silver gilding wax. I am very pleased with the result. But what do you think? Was it worth to spend all the time and effort to give it a new look? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I appreciate your participation and love reading your comments. It is one thing to paint the furniture, but it takes a lot of effort and time to make and publish a video. Your comments and likes are encouraging me to do that, and I hope that one day you'll take a brush and see for yourself how it feels to play with the chalk paint. And if you have done it already, please let me know in the comments below.